Welcome to another Peterborough test route video. This time we are going towards I Roundabout and I Village via A47. Please like, comment and subscribe to support my channel. End of the road, turn right. Make sure to check your mirrors and signal right. Have a good look to the right and left before emerging. This road may be very busy at times. At the next traffic lights, turn left. Check your center mirror and left mirror, signal left and turn left at the traffic lights. At the next roundabout follow the road ahead, second exit. Make sure you don't signal on approach. Check your center and left mirror position on the left and keep to the outside on the roundabout. Before coming off check your center and left mirror again, signal left. The speed in this road is 40. At the next roundabout you'll be turning right, taking the third exit towards Wisbeach and Sleaford. Check your centre and right mirror, signal right, position in the right lane. On the roundabout, keep in the inside lane, make effective mirror checks, keep the right signal on until you start passing the second exit. Keep checking the center and left mirror now, signal left and gradually change your position to the outside, aim at the third exit and accelerate. Keep accelerating on the slip road, the speed limit is now national. Keep checking your center and right mirror, look over the right shoulder if necessary, try to match your speed to the speed of the cars already on the dual carriageway. You may even accelerate more uh, if the cars ahead of you are going much slower, uh, overtake, then go back to the left lane when it is safe to do so. Don't forget to check your center, left mirror, signal left and gradually switch position from the right to the left lane. In this stretch of road you might be asked a show me question, so when it's safe to do so, be prepared to use an appropriate switch. the next roundabout you will be going left first exit. Look well ahead for any signs and especially speed limit signs. There is a speed limit of 40 on approach to this roundabout. You want to check your center and left mirror. Start signaling now. Uh, actually for the first exit you can use any of the three available lanes. So lane 1, 2 and 3 uh, you can use to go left for that exit. I'm choosing lane 2 on this occasion as it is less congested and I will be continuing in this lane to come off the roundabout. Uh, accelerating after the roundabout you can see uh, the national speed limit sign on both sides of the road. So start accelerating. If the cars in the left lane are going slower than you, you may remain in the right lane to overtake and then when it is safe to do so, check your center and left mirror, make sure it's safe to go back to the left lane don't forget to signal and gradually switch lanes. 
you will be taking the next exit off the dual carriageway and then at the next roundabout you'll be turning right for exit number three on this occasion you can use um, either the right lane or the middle lane on approach to this roundabout to go for this exit so i'm choosing lane number three as it again is less congested so on approach here check your center left right mirror signal right remain in the inside lane and then follow this lane around now it becomes the middle lane so stay in this lane switch your signal to the left at this point check your center left mirror you'll be leaving the roundabout in this very lane check your center left mirror accelerate as it is 60 now and when it's safe to do so change lanes to the left and the next roundabout will be following ahead for second exit so you need the middle lane on approach so check your center right mirror left mirror no signal here check if it's safe to enter the roundabout and remain in the middle lane here and then this lane follows around stay on the outside check your center left signal left come off the roundabout and again start accelerating the speed limit now is 60 At the next roundabout you'll be turning right and taking the third exit. Start checking your center right mirror early and on approach to the roundabout signal right and position in the right lane. Before entering the roundabout make sure it's clear to your right and keep to the inside of the roundabout with reasonable speed. Before coming off the roundabout, check your center left mirror, signal left, accelerate into the exit. The speed limit is still national. The next roundabout turn left, first exit. So check your center and left mirror, signal left on approach. Slow down, make sure it's clear on your right, then enter the roundabout the road you're joining uh, the speed limit is 30. You may be asked to pull up on the left in a safe place here so check your center left mirror signal left and pull up by the curb within reasonable distance then stop in a safe place. Secure the car and then you'll be asked to move off again when it's safe to do so. So check your center, right mirror, blind spot over right shoulder, signal right if necessary and drive on. You may be asked to pull up on the left again, so repeat the previous procedure. At the next roundabout turn right and take the third exit. So check your center right mirror signal right. Go quite slowly as it is very tight roundabout and you need um, a less speed on this one. In this road you're gonna find uh, narrow spaces with uh, equal or no priority. So whoever first at the double dash line as priority.
take the next road on the right, so centre right mirror signal right and turn right when safe. Park up on the left in a safe, legal and convenient space. In this road, depending on circumstances, you may be asked to do a parallel, uh, reversing manoeuvre or pull up on the right, uh, as well as emergency brake. So further down the road, I'm going to demonstrate how to do an emergency brake. At the end of the road, turn left. So check your centre and left mirror signal left. then pull up on the left in a safe, legal and convenient place. Here you will be instructed to perform an emergency brake, so you have to stop the car at the examiner's signal uh, and you still have, have to have a full control over the car when stopping. After stopping, make sure you don't move the car until you have checked all around and it is safe to do so. Before stopping, of course, I was checking my mirrors. Uh, because there was no one to give me the signal, I had to stop on my uh, signal. But you won't be checking your, the mirrors, the examiner is going to do that for you. And if it's not safe to do so, he's not, he's not going to give you the signal to stop, just skipping the exercise. At the end of this road will be turning right, so make sure you check your centre right mirror signal right and make sure it's clear before emerging. At the end of this road again, will be turning right. So to repeat the same procedure, check your centre right mirror signal right. village keep a reasonable speed as it's a quite narrow road make sure you scan for pedestrians up ahead keep checking your mirrors frequently and regularly mini roundabout to turn right and take the third exit. Approach with caution as it's very narrow, very tight roundabout. Make good observations. about a car length away from uh, the car in front to do an angle start uh, routine. You also may be asked to perform uh, parallel parking in this area if you haven't done it earlier during the test route. So prepare your car first, check your mirrors and the blind spot, signal if necessary and carefully drive off. 
pay attention to the 20 speed limit in this road and also to the priority signs. entering a national speed limit road now. Uh, it is quite narrow but uh, try to uh, maintain a reasonable speed so you don't hold back the traffic behind you. Of course you can go up to 60 miles per hour legally but I wouldn't recommend going more than 45-50 miles per hour especially uh, in that next stretch of road where you have a kind of pinch point uh, the road narrows a bit before that next building on the left, so be very careful here if, uh, if a car is approaching from the opposite direction. You are approaching a single track road with passing places now, uh, so look well ahead, negotiate your position with the oncoming cars. You're going to have a first passing place roughly 50 yards away from, from that previous bend. So look well ahead and react to what the cars ahead of you are doing. Also uh, keep glancing behind you to see how many cars following you, uh, because that will be important when you take in uh, the passing place there. Look well ahead past that bend, don't go too fast so you have time to react if someone's already committed. And the next crossroads you'll be turning right. Uh, you have to give way of course to the uh, opposite traffic oncoming. Uh, and before turning reduce your speed a lot because uh, this is a very sharp bend and a, quite a deep ditch to the left we don't want to be ending in that ditch the speed limit in the road you going in is 30 now The end of this road turn left at the junction so check your center left mirror signal left make sure it's clear to your right before emerging and make sure uh, to still keep within 30 speed limit until you pass uh, the next sign further ahead uh, the speed limit of 40 and then you can go uh, accelerate up to 40 miles per hour
so the speed limit is still 40 but on approach to the next uh, crossroads uh, which are still under construction be careful uh, try to reduce your speed uh, a bit because um, the last sign we saw the last speed limit sign we saw was 40 but it used to be, there used to be a 30 speed limit uh, after this crossroads now it has been removed but still I wouldn't uh, advise going uh, up to 40 miles per hour in this road it's very busy with many uh, side roads and um, warehouses uh, car dealers so it, it is quite a quite a busy road um, so despite the fact that we didn't see any 30 speed limit sign I am still uh, sticking to that 30 speed limit uh, that used to be there uh, before probably before um, uh, not before long uh, the crossroads gonna be finished um, and uh, you're gonna have some new uh, speed limit signs uh, applied to there now I'm turning right uh, so I need to uh, position into that right um, turn uh, box lane of course checking my mirror signaling and now the speed limit uh, is definitely 30 uh, next uh, roundabout will be going left and taking the first exit so I'm checking my center and left mirror signaling left making sure it's clear on the right and entering the new road roundabout I'll be turning left and taking the first exit so I'm already checking my center then left mirror then I'm gonna signal on approach to the left and of course checking to the right for any uh, oncoming traffic I'm giving way to that car and then when safe I'm entering the roundabout taking the first exit the next traffic lights I'll be turning right so I'm checking my center and right mirror signal right and then I'm minding that keep clear box which is barely visible uh, basically across from that um, a road you saw on your left so make sure in, if there's more cars that you don't uh, block that entrance to the car park now we're moving off so I'm checking again my center right mirror looking into the road I'm turning and uh, this is the last stretch on approach to the road leading to the um, test center so I'll be checking my center left mirror signaling left now and turning before the Fengate trade park sign which we see up ahead and into the road leading to the test center so thank you guys uh, for watching this video and please like subscribe and comment to help me develop my channel.